The Explorer is an excellent example of Earth's commitment to return to power in the years following the Earth Minbari War. Earth Dawn knew they could not afford to be caught by surprise again, so they began an aggressive program to explore as much territory as they could. The theory was that if they met every race that could ever be a threat, they would be able to evaluate the risk and prepare themselves beforehand. Also, if they found any new star system or useful alien technology in the process, so much the better. The explorer's primary mission is to fly deep into uncharted areas of hyperspace, occasionally dropping out when something interesting is detected. Usually something interesting refers to a planetary system, although sometimes nebulae, developing stars, black holes and the like would be studied. If a new star system was indeed located, a detailed survey would be conducted often over the course of many months. In the event the system had any resources of significance, the explorer would construct a jump gate in orbit around a appropriate planet, which allowed Earth Dome to send miners, surveyors, or archaeologists to the site at a later date. In those rare cases where something of real value was discovered, a more permanent presence could be arranged, but this did not happen often. Earth's leaders usually consider such locations far too remote to adequately defend and Earth Force agree. Thus, in the end, corporations usually develop such sites. Today, the ring is literally dotted with corporate mining, research and survey outposts, all linked to Earth space through jump gates planted by explorers. Explorers are the largest ships in service of the Earth Alliance at over 6 km in length. Like many contemporary Earth Force vessels, explorers were designed with a larger rotation section for simulated gravity and a forward-facing launch bay. Any given explorer was perfectly capable of traveling for many years to the far reaches of space without being resupplied. The vessels were designed to literally be small cities in space, powered by eight fusion reactors. They carry not only officers, crew, scientists, and researchers, but also entire families on what were essentially the longest extended remote tour in military history. Despite their immense size, explorers are not particularly hardy in combat, as they were never intended to be used in battle. The ship is armed with four plasma pulse cannons and four twin particle beam cannons. While the explorer is armed, these weapons will not be all useful in a serious battle and are in fact rarely used. If they come under attack, they launch fighters and attempt to flee. On long missions, the fighters themselves rarely fought as replacing them was a difficult undertaking. In addition to their complement of 16 fighters, Explorer-class ships have an array of smaller support vessels and shuttles for short-range exploration and planetary surveil. The bulk of the ship's length is taken by equipment mounting spares, forward and aft of the rotation habitation section, used to carry jump gates construction equipment in prefabricated parts. An explorer carry enough spare parts to make many repairs, but only enough to construct at most a complete set of spares. In those rare cases where one of these ships completely lost its entire fighter complement, the captain then had the difficult choice of returning all the way towards space for more, or pressing on and risking a potentially dangerous confrontation without any significant means of defense. The Earth Alliance has very few of these ships due to their large cost in credits and equipment, but the few they do have allow for rapid 
expansion in Earth's sphere of influence through jump gate construction and are a good source of income as other races can be charged for the use of these new jump gates. In order to justify their expense, they are always on the ring constructing gates. They are only seen in civilized space when they are undergoing major overhauls, and in fact, crew starting or finishing their tours are transported to or from the explorer by other ships instead of the explorer visiting a port of call to pick them up. Please, if you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. I will be posting videos regularly. Thank you for watching.